morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Non Cooperators. We're back playing some more Slender Man Must Die on a Halloween special. So, um, I'm actually thinking, should I just like not wear these at all? Because, uh, in all honesty, like I think the jump scares are actually more. You know, let me just wear them for just a little bit. The jumps. I'm not just gonna wear them all like fully. I'm just gonna like hang this dangle them, so I'm not hearing the full aspect of it. But the problem is, I have to hear because of Slender Man. Because Slender Man's gonna like uh, come out of nowhere. Wait. I just fucked the game up. Oh shit, I think I just fucked the game up, guys. Uh oh. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, so I have to hear because of Slender Man, because Slend Slender Man, you know, you know, has his own, you know, noise come, uh, when he comes out. So I have to hear that so I know where, where, like, oh shit, he's coming to get me. Let me look around. Where is he? He's right there. Bang, 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 bang. Um. But what is it that actually really scares us? Is it the, the visual effects or is it the noise? Because honestly, that was not scary visually. It was just startling. The aspect of, the, of these types of games is actually it tries to startle you and tries to scare you when it comes to both visual, audio, and atmosphere. Now, this game definitely, I'll give it to this person. I think it's Poison, Poison Games or something like that on the uh, Android games. They do, I don't know if it's one person or a couple people, but they, he, she, they whatever they actually do a very good job when it comes to making a game at, at uh, a, a good atmosphere uh, to, uh, to an Android game now take note it's, once again it's an Android game you have very little to work with now there are some Android games that are actually pretty good but they have probably have like high production value and stuff and stuff but there's a lot of high production value game high production value games that don't even do that good so point taken they actually do pretty good with what they've got he she or they do pretty good with what, what they got. We did actually play one of their games. We actually finished it. It was like the uh, Residents of Evil. I think that's what it was called. I forgot. We played it. We beat it. And I, I, I liked it. It was fun. It wasn't scary. It was just... But it was funny. But I still fi I still enjoyed myself. So I think this game is like... It's like, it's like bad talking and like saying like, Yeah, you didn't find the other game like scary at all. Well, fuck you. This is going to be double scary now for me. You know what it is? I just... Oh, man. I haven't played a scary game in such a long time. I think that's what it is. And I'm just like... Uh, I'm just like... I'm kind of like out of it of like when it comes to like scary games. So it's like I'm out of I'm out of practice, that's what it is cuz like I used to play a lot of scary games like Dead Space and stuff like that and I was very tolerant to it. And I was like, "Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's just, you know, jump scares there, there, and that's about it." And it's just cool. And, you know, I enjoy it. And that's in the games are bad. I'm just saying that it didn't like get me like everybody else. Like everybody else was scared the shit out of them. I played, I think the last scary game I played was either Five Nights at Freddy's, but that, you know, that's just naturally jump scares and, sus and the suspense of it. And um, console-wise, I think was the last one I'm trying to remember. I think it was uh, The Evil Within. Evil Within. That was, a good, that was a good one. It was just a good game, but I don't know if it was like a good scary game. I mean, well, eh, yeah, it was, yeah. I, I, can't, I, I can't really, like, phrase it. Uh, in a way that's just saying like, yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Good game. Good game. GG. G everybody. G G G everybody. Ooh, hamburger that I'm gonna have in a sanatorium. What is that? What it's called? A sanatorium? Yeah, hamburger that's been here for God knows how long. The do you realize that bread rots, and quite rapidly fast. I'm not looking at the wall. See, I knew it. Damn, she got fucked up. Little ink blots. So I feel like at every end of the at every end of the hallway, it's gonna like have pop something up. So now, like now I'm not prepared for it, but still, it's the anticipa it's the anti yeah. it's the anticipation that's what gets you. Because once you're anticipating it, then it really like you it, it, you scare yourself. So like I said, I don't know what it really is. If it's both, if, but I think it's all the above: audio, visual, and atmosphere. You need all three aspects in order for the game to actually work out to make it you know creepy, scary, and Get, have those moments of jump scares like what I had before. So, good, good, uh, good one on you guys, uh, Poison Games. That you actually did get me that one time. Hopefully, that'll be the last time, <laughs> cause nobody likes getting scared. Actually, people, some people like getting scared. What well, would be kind of cool is like if you walked out of the hallway. God damn it! See, you know what? The, what I don't like about it that makes it more scary is because I don't have full control of it. That's what the problem is. Is if I had more uh, full control, full mobility of this game, I probably wouldn't be as scared because I can, you know, I can have more defense or more offense with this game, 
and I could obviously be more in control with it. But being that I, I don't have control of it, I think it makes it more scary, for me at least. Now, I'm pretty sure other people probably have played this game before, another hamburger, more shoddy shoddy shells, which is also helpful. I think I'm just stacking up my health at this point. That's all I'm really doing. Eh, it's, it's good, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I think, like, yeah, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Uh, I lost my train of thought. I got If I had more control of it, I wouldn't be as scared, but since I have no control of it, it probably is um, scary for me. See? I don't know, I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what you're looking at. Just, you know, see? Just look at it. Look at it. Well, I mean, you can also notice on the bottom... Uh, actually, no, you can't, because I'm covering it. I'm, me, personally, I'm actually covering up as the bottom right corner, because so I'm trying to use the D-pad on, um, on the keyboard, which is the A... you know, the ASW... ASWD or ASDW W A S D that's what it is. That's how that's what we call it. But sometimes a little lag. See right now I can't do it. There it goes. And I have to like, you know, dance around a little bit. Okay, there's something gonna be popping up, right? Oh boy. Like I said, it's the anticipation. You scare yourself. And you know what? If a game can actually get you to anticipate stuff like that and, and, and make yourself scared, that's another like form of like uh, you know, that's an, that's an art right there. <laughs> that is a masterpiece game that can just get you to do that. Which is why I kind of want to take these off because I feel like if it, I think I feel like if I lose the audio, I won't be as scared. I'll just have the visual. But even the visual can still get you sometimes. Like in f uh, Five Nights at Jesus Christ, Five Nights at Freddy's. That's all. That's all. That's both visual and audio, and it's also anticipation. Because, like, you know, like, Bonnie's right outside your door, you're trying to close the door, and then, like, you're expect. Sometimes you obviously expect it. Like, obviously, like, damn it, I can't close the door. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. Bonnie's gonna get me. And there it goes. And those screams, my god, those very, very loud. Whoa. Okay, I is he facing me? I, you know what? I don't wanna. I don't want it. I don't want it. I just don't. Oh, Christ. Ah, oh, boy. They ain't fucking around in there. Oh, no, here's where it's gonna get a little. It's gonna get. Yeah, I hear him. I hear him. I think I hear him. What up, homie? Sup, motherfucker? Come on, motherfucker. He's gonna come close to you. I'm gonna see if I get headshots. Ah! Oh, wow, he takes so much health away. Fuck me. Wow, he took a lot of health, guys. I mean, I'm healing up, which is good, but, and I'm sure there's there's some health around here, but still, damn, that's close to, like, what, a one-hit kill, maybe? Oh, fuck. See, that, that is not cool. Like, when I'm in a room with a big dead dude with some iron in his mouth, because, you know, he had a little bit too much iron in his diet, he will use your fear against you. Oh, that motherfucker. He's a fucking cock. Slenderman, he'll use my fear against me. That son of a you son of a bitch. I know we're taking a break with um Total Recall for the uh, uh for this whole uh, month of Halloween. Not saying I'm not enjoying Total Recall. I do enjoy it. It's just you know it's just a bitch to play using these controls that I'm actually using right now. That game is a little bit unresponsive. Um, I finally was able to actually get it to work a little bit lately, but I don't know. Now it's nah. I really gotta find like an alternate way to like control the game. And I was looking for like I, I think I mentioned this before, um, those wireless uh, controllers that's used for those and used for the Android phone. I don't know if you know about those or heard about those. Oh God, this place is a fucking maze, and there's no there's no map, is there? Jesus Christ! No. <laughs> what was that from? Uh, uh, oh my God, I forgot the the show. What was the show? Uh, Adventure Time. When they uh, they go to Lemon Crab's uh, uh, palace or castle after um, I don't even know what happened. I think it was like oh man, he was asking for more food or something like that. Uh, see, no, the controller wasn't. It's not working. Okay, there we go. He was asking for more like more food or something. So uh, Bubblegum Princess uh, sent Jake and and Finn and Jake to give him the like a big box of food or something like that. And uh, he wasn't using the food to eat. He was like, you, or he was using the food to like make um, more of himself or some shit like that. I think this is where we started, guys. Yeah, this is 
where we're this is this is where we're still gonna be. So you know what? I feel like every single time I go back here, I'm gonna have to like end the episode because it's just a little, a little too much for me. Whoo! Next time on the non-cooperators, hopefully we'll actually find the remaining pages and we will continue with this game. So we'll see you next time. <laughs> Ha 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 